Okay, maps. Uh, maps are very similar to sets. In fact, they, they essentially would have the same data structure internally, probably. You, you'd quite reasonably implement a set as a map just with no value. So uh, remember that a map is a key value pair. And we also call it a dictionary. Um, you know, and a dictionary has a uh, word and a meaning. But word, meaning, key, and value, same thing. So uh, a language like Python would call it a dictionary. Um, Java has a dictionary, but we don't use it anymore. It, that's a very old collection. Um, we use maps instead. Um, so the only difference is that when you make a map, you're going to declare it of string for the key. For example, you can use anything. Um, it has to have a hash code, right? It, you have to be able to do a hash on it. Um, and remember as well, when you uh, override the hash code method, you also have to override equals. When you override, override equals, you have to override hash code. The reason for that is this stuff, because this stuff makes use of those two methods. And if they don't work properly, you won't, you won't be able to get things out. So let's say this is a string and an integer. So the structure inside of the map class, there's this, there's this other class called an entry. Um, and we'll talk about uh, classes inside of classes coming up in another, uh, another set of lessons. So I'm looking at getting attacked by a cat again. Um, so there's an entry with, in this case, it will be of type string and integer. So in the case of a uh, set, it's probably implemented as string and void, which means it doesn't matter what the type is, everything's going to be null. Um, and we, we never pay attention to the entry. Uh, and the only reason why we do that is because the, uh, or the, 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 that they would do that, um, is because a set and a map are very, very similar. You, you want a quick way to look things up. Well, that's how what a set does, right? but you also want to store a value with it. Okay, so rather than implement the exact same code twice, they likely just you know implemented it once um, and did a, a trick. Um, not positive, but it's a, it's a reasonable assumption. So we've got this map, right? We can make it a string and an entry. We've got the key and the value. You've got the entry inside of it, key value. And we're going to have our tree type structure or whatever, however they've implemented it. So let's say we want to put in a, uh, actually, let's, let's go with students and grades. So there's a student number and their grade is 79. Um, another student number and the grade is 82. And one more student number. And you have apparently a higher student number. They are okay. We won't do that. No, not the higher the student number, the higher the grade. So there's three numbers: zero, one, and two. We'll just arbitrarily say that this hash is to zero, this hash is to one, this hash is to two. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we're going to put the first one in, um, and it doesn't matter what the number is. We can just say that it's a zero. That's the first one. And it also has associated with it the value of 79. Um, and then let's say we actually, let's say, sorry, just to make this a little more interesting, uh, we'll put the, we added one first, so 82 is there. Uh, then we added zero. And it has associated with it the value of 79. And then we added another one. And it has associated with it a value of 65. So now, if I want to look up the student number 
a all zeros and a two. I come in here, a all zeros and one. Well, no, no, it's greater. So we're going to go to the right. Um, less goes to the left. Greater goes to the right. Um, so we look at this. Does that equal to uh, two? Yes, it does. Um, so and here's here we would be using the hash code. Um, so it's the the uh, right thing, and we're going to get sixty five. Now what happens? Um, no, actually, sorry, that uh, we we won't worry about that. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> If if you're interested in in more about how these kinds of things are uh, are implemented and all that, go take an algorithms and a data structures course. I'm just trying to cover the essential points here. When you take an algorithms and data structures course, you would find out that I'm very much oversimplifying some of this stuff and ignoring some of the more um, um, concerning issues. Uh, they don't matter for us because we're just going to be we're not going to implement them. We're just going to use them. So we just have to have a, a basic understanding. So now if we went to look up um, a, a bunch of zeros, three, we'd say, you know, it's greater than one. It hashes to three, remember? So it's greater than one, it's greater than two. It's, you know, it's not in there because the next thing here is nulls. So it doesn't exist. So again, it's just a very quick way of looking things up. But this time when we call the, uh, and I'll, I'll write code, you'll see it. Um, when we try to get the thing, what we're going to actually do is we're going to look this up and we're going to return the value. Um, with a set, we're just going to look it up and see if it's there or not, that kind of thing. So this is the basics of how um, you've seen a set, now you've seen a map, um, and you've seen a, a linked list, and we've talked about arrays. So this is the basics of how all of these things are implemented. Um, the implementation does not matter. The functionality is what matters. There's multiple ways to implement these things. It doesn't matter what way the language you're using chooses to do it. Um, from your point of view, all you need to understand ultimately is when to use them. That will be the next video.